teachers. Lost your way, your holiness? <laughs> The sheriff's in town. <laughs>
Better keep my guard up. Getting me, the flower will be ours tonight. No! <laughs> Get out of here! You have to do something. These heartless little pests are going to silence the song. I've heard something about this song already. What's so important about it? The song? It's everything. It is the word. It is the world. And it is the only way for the fern to bloom, fruit, and give off seeds. It happens only once a year. We can't waste the chance. I hopped and popped, but all in vain. I can't chase this one away. They're too close to the fern flower already. Help us, help us, please. Try singing. It worked with the other house. Kid, little kid, let me in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Let me go. Let me go, you lousy weeds. Do I look like a plant to you? Huh. Anyway, there's nothing you can do to stop Sprout from getting the flower tonight. I mean, maybe we did all the work for him, and maybe he tricked us into staying inside these houses as decoys. Mm hmm. Waiting for the butt. But all in all, only people like him can make something of their lives, don't they? I hope he makes his wish come true. But he's not getting any closer to it if his life's in danger. All right, where did he go? <sighs> he said something about a remote clearing up north, sheltered by cliffs. Or rocks. Or... Get in the basket. We're going after him. Sing. Otherwise, we are lost. A paragon of virtues. I wish I was more like her. Such a great inspiration!
imp. I like the mask you wear. Every enemy sees what you appear to be, but few expect what you really are. A guide on a road to their downfall. Sadly for some, I never forget a thing. A little this and that we've done together? Ah, yes. We found the best possible ending for it. The Sleeping Beauty rests in ashes now. And the False Prophet is nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Pity. How about we start this over? <clears throat> Isn't this a lovely day for an inconspicuous little talk? Indeed it is. You see, some of my practically engaged friends were out doing me a favor by taking a look at a certain place in the wild. If those friends of yours are who I think they are, then they sure know how to take a look. No, bo jest ta no wiecie. No, wiecie. Ta zbladą skoro. Gnole robią, co im rozkaże. There's this peculiar girl on Gnole Island. Her skin is said to be as white as snow, lips as red as blood, and hair as black as ebony. Oh, she sounds, um... Yes, let's say she does sound like it. <laughs> One day, she came to the island seeking refuge, battered, beaten, hunted by so many for so long, and the generous pointy-hatted hosts have offered her shelter. She soon became their leader of sorts. And someone needed to check in on what kind of leader she is exactly? Or rather, someone's practically engaged friends? A caring neighbor like myself wouldn't sleep soundly not knowing all is well among the closest forest dwellers. The Ganoles don't seem to appreciate my sincerest care. Thankfully, the Bobucks are discreet enough not to disturb them. The last visit, however, turned out a bit unfortunate. One of my googly friends, Hunky, did not come back. Are there any reasons to believe the operative was intercepted by the Gnolls? Gnolls? Worse. The cursed have set their hungry eyes on our lad. One of them may have used Hunky for his own wicked goals. And let's say this Bobak is just too valuable for him to have. What interest would a good-willed neighbor have with some Gnoll chieftain? Some of the recent events made me ponder on what exactly happens when some individuals are left without proper... supervision. Besides, there's no telling who would conquer the Gnoll's hearts if she's gone. Maybe someone much worse. An enemy well-known is the best one we can have. Why is the Bobok so valuable? Isn't he just one of many? You've got plenty of, uh, men to replace one little hunky. Small men can cast big shadows. Hunky's got a way with words. He can make an enemy mad as a hatter with just a few sentences. Silver-tongued devil he is. Hunky twierdził, że rusza na łowy. A przecież on nie ma bladego pojęcia o polowaniu. I'm afraid the roots may be involved. No step is a step too far for the cursed. I keep seeing these roots sprawling all across the land. That's not how it used to be, I take it. No, the roots were only where the hut was. Now they're twisting the mind and the matter alike. And there's Baba. She seems to be all the rage in the forest now. Barber's chaos. Something you can't control. It could prove fatally unwise not to avoid her. An asset as valuable as Hunky should not end up in enemy hands. And this is where you'll need some assistance. Precisely. I need him back, no matter the cost. A reliable service won't go unrewarded. Just don't scratch your mask. If you slip up, it's mine. <laughs> Touch this, or keep that hand. You choose. Oh. 
choć do niej wkrętnym znowu, to na teraz czeka. She's a real force for good. May the sun shine warm upon your face, noble lady. So this is... Yes, it's him! And... Mm, he's not looking too well. Oh, my knee! It hurts so badly! And it's the only knee I've ever had! <laughs> I was so close! I even had my brothers build those stupid houses! <laughs> Hard work! It's the only way to distract these pathetic fools from the fact they're slogging their guts out for some scraps. Hey! That wasn't too nice. Strong words coming from someone in dire need of help. What did you hope the flower to give you, anyway? <coughs> I wanted to have... everything! Everything seems... a lot. Wealth, power, luck, all the things that make me... somebody! <sighs> All for nothing. I won't make it out of here alive if I don't use up the flower's power on my wounds. <sighs> what a waste. Doesn't it come with a price? I mean, picking the flower. <laughs> a price? <laughs> Just a stupid singing plant or two. Or ten. Or maybe. Well, I don't know. I can't really count all that well. <coughs> See the plants? They should be singing already. <coughs> to make them fern bloom. And what are they doing? Snoring. You mushrooms must have tired them enough to put them to sleep. Uh, wake. Uh, wake them up. I need the flower. Make them sing. <coughs> All at once. And clean. It's time for your grand performance. What? Oh, oh, right. Gotta make the fern bloom. <coughs> that works. <laughs> Two more to go. Wait now. Wakey, 
wakey. It's, um, the middle of the night. Hmm. Time to sing. Keep doing that. I can wait for one more. Wake up, you weak little... What? What did you say? Um, nothing. It's singing time. Yes. Keep it up for just a while longer. The same flower two years ago. The night Slavitsa went missing. She who brought the flowering now stands before us, and yet her mind is full of dissonance. I've never... Should you pick our flower, the gift of consciousness will be taken away from the choir. The song made us feel, and we shall feel no more. We shall be no more. Should you hold your hand, we will bear the fruit. The seed shall become sounds. Those shall fill the forest with harmony, ease the pain, bring upon joy. Yeah, the song. Sounds nice and all, but <laughs> who would care about some plants, right? I mean, Borvi and Jack will want to see me back, remember? And I'm not <sighs> ripe enough to wither away. Can't you just grow back? Mushrooms do grow back, don't they? And what if I don't grow back handsome enough? Nah, nah, waiting's not my thing. I was the only one to get this far. What was the other's hard work even for? Being left behind where they belong? <laughs> I deserve to have it all. And you deserve to help me. Strong ones like us should stick together. Well... You sure are one piece of work, Sprout. Oh, I almost forgot. <coughs> if you save me, I'll tell you the greatest joke ever told. A joke? You heard it. A joke to make your day a bit brighter. We beg you, do not pick the flower. Thousands of voices will fall silent forever. Thousands of minds in unison will break down into a vulgar noise. <laughs> Think about yourself. We're so alike. Determined and, and resourceful. Oh, and this joke is it's a real blast. You'll see. First you betrayed your brothers, and now you're ready to sacrifice an entire sentient race? And for what? Some fantasy you're not even sure is real? No. I'm leaving the flower be. For the greater good. It means more than one life. <gasps> uh -oh. <coughs> you're not being serious, are you? <coughs> uh, uh, 
my time. <laughs> yeah, he's almost over. <laughs> Still, I found it. <laughs> I finally became somebody. <laughs> Good for you. Most people will never be so lucky. In old tales, a selfish lazy bone would always get their ass whooped in the end. So you went by the book? Okay. I like books. Oh, some of them. I'll, I'll miss Sprout. Well, at least the plants are okay. in heavens. Protect me from those seeking the ruin of souls.
no point. Try something else. Yahoo! Oh, Toyota! Um. Oh, Chikmak! Sivrov! He wants a password. Any ideas? Try something Ganol's love. Okay. Miumi <clears throat> Chibalash! Good morning, my co! Just a brachy propas from Sagma Yeti Gudaki! He said the outhouse. East of the town. Let's find Macaw.
so perfect. May your path stay in. Be just, but your she is patient. <laughs> 